there was police activity on the line east of Ospenhof. So all of the trains going that way were canceled and going the other way were canceled. So luckily we remembered this bus existed, which takes you from Hoppenhof to the airport. But to get there involved a lot of running through Hoppenhof and up the stairs and out of breath. We had a really weird experience in the Uber. Basically, we were sitting there waiting for the scheduled Uber that I did. Uh, we ended up having to wait like 20, 30 minutes because the plane landed and we got through the airport a lot faster than I was expecting. And then the Uber gets there and he was like, you canceled the ride. And I was like, I did not cancel the ride. It's still active on my phone. I can show you, look, I checked your license plate because it's still active on my phone. And he's like, okay, we'll try canceling and rebooking. So I, I was like, okay, cancel and canceled and rebooked. And I got a different person. And he's like, well, this is a problem. I said, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. And he was like, well, that's not enough. And then and so I was like, sorry. And I walked away. And the next, the next Uber was luckily like right behind this person. We got here. And the, the second guy was really nice. That guy said he works, he's worked Oktoberfest in Munich for the past two or three years. So that was really cool. He does some kind of bakery, I think, at Oktoberfest, or he does something. I'm not really sure what he was saying he did. Um, but anyways, we got to the Airbnb. Uh, they, it, has a, it has something I've actually never seen in an Airbnb. Here, take a look. Sorry for the flickering if it's flickering. But see, there, look, there's me. There's the bed. And then the shower. That's, that's kind of weird. Welcome to our first day in Split, Croatia. Uh, we just got back from Norway uh, on Thursday night and then we ended up booking this trip like a couple, about a month later. So we couldn't change the Norway flight. Uh, but anyways, it's beautiful here. The weather is basically perfect at the moment. I just actually looked at the temperature. It's 70 degrees Fahrenheit and about 21 Celsius. I also did bring sunglasses. I just left them at the uh, Airbnb. We are going to uh, find a grocery store. The main reason that we are here in Split Croatia is probably already in the title and the thumbnail, but uh, we are here to get a dog, a Jack Russell. Uh, the breeder's name for it is uh, Don or Donald. Um, we haven't really settled down on a name yet, so we're not putting the name in this yet. Um, but yeah, so Elizabeth found this breeder on Instagram, talked to some people that got a dog from this person and uh, why we got a dog from Croatia. Uh, well, this breed, this breeder, well, they don't necessarily breed small Jack Russells. The Jack Russells that she has are typically smaller and in order to fly on a plane, like if we wanted to go back home to the United States, it has to be under, I think, eight kilograms, which is like 16 pounds in order to fly in the cabin with us. Otherwise it has to be under the, in the cargo area, which is like a whole stressful situation. Because so we wanted to make sure we got a dog that we could take home, a dog that wasn't too rambunctious. I know Jack Russell's can be kind of crazy, um, but yeah, so, we're, we're making a couple pit stops, uh, getting some grocery food, and then we will be heading over to the dog breeders here shortly. We're both really excited to see the dog. We've seen a bunch of pictures, um, but we have not obviously actually seen the dog. clear that water is. Oh, 
that's cold. That water was ultra clear. Like, I don't know. I mean, I've seen water that clear, but it's been a while. It was really cold at first, but uh, after a few minutes, you got used to it. And uh, if we didn't have something going on in like an hour, we'd probably get a little bit more into the water, but. Uh, So yeah, we got a dog in Croatia. Uh, we haven't, like I said earlier, we haven't decided on the name. Um, the breeders were awesome people. They they have very good limitations on when they breed their dogs, how much they breed their dogs. Like a dog won't be bred more than three times, but it has to be at least three years old. Um, they, they, the guy, made like a, a shelter for them and when it gets too hot outside they obviously come inside it's mainly just so that they can spend they can spend time in outside um they they don't breed them for shows but they take them to shows if the dog enjoys going to shows so like it's up to the dog really um but yeah so really happy with the uh with the dog uh it will be interesting getting him back, but uh, I think that's, I think we're gonna just go, kind of go back to the apartment, let the dog, you know, relax, taking him away from like, like his parents, his mom and dad and his, you know, sisters and brothers and stuff. It's probably stressful for him. So we're just gonna go back, let him relax. There's some American college football tonight. F1 has a sprint race in Qatar today. So, you know, we're gonna go back and then tomorrow we're gonna spend all day kind of exploring around the city, taking the dog with us. Uh, and then we will decide on a name soon. We, uh, we don't really feel like we're in a rush to decide on a name, but, uh, but yeah. Come here. Say bye. Oh. All right, see you next time. Bye.